Hello and welcome to this 5D BIM introduction. 5D BIM is the future of successful project development and construction management. With the right tools, you can deliver on the promises of 5D BIM. Let me take you through an introduction to show you how easy you can transform your estimating and reporting methods. You'll save time and mitigate errors with Autodesk Revit, RS Means Data, and Sigma Estimates, which is built to be a 5D BIM and estimating platform. Let's start with some key features of Sigma. I want to estimate from a 3D model, but since not everything is included in a 3D model, I start by reusing the construction site costs from a previous estimate. Having both the new and previous estimate on screen, I simply drag and drop the construction site node, and I can open and adjust any details. This saves a lot of time, and you don't need to worry about creating formulas or broken formulas as they are built in. Next, let me show you how RS Means Data work within Sigma Estimates. You'll find all RS Means Data price books in Sigma libraries, and if you open a price book, you may browse or search for assemblies and single unit prices. To use a price in your estimate, just drag and drop it into the estimate structure. This is very simple and intuitive. For even faster estimating, you may type search in the estimate window and choose the assembly. To show you how this works, let's add some site lighting to a project just as an example. The RS means data is rich in content. You can open the assembly and see or adjust the work operations. You can even open a work operation and understand the resources estimated with labor durations and unit prices. Gordian's RS Means Data provides extensive cost data you can use to build up your estimates, and it is easy to adjust or make individual adjustments in the project as needed. If you have special assemblies in the project, for example, specific curtain walls, you create what is called a library. A library can be considered your own price book. Here, you add your specific assemblies as well as any historical data. Having them for future use will save you many hours and give you better cost insights. Let's say you wanted to save the construction site in your own library, so you have it for future use. Just drag and drop it. You can organize assemblies in your own structure and create as many libraries as you like. Now let's consider how you work with 3D models in Sigma. 3D models provide estimating elements such as walls, doors, roof, and so forth and will provide quantities and logical structures. With Sigma, you have a live link with Autodesk Revit that makes it very easy to reuse model data. Let's see how easy this is. Inside the Revit application, I've opened a model. In the ribbon, you'll see the Sigma Estimates tools. The key tool is the Connect button. Clicking it will transfer any 3D model directly into Sigma for estimating. What you now see in Sigma is the estimate with the construction site costs, including the model added from Revit. If we open the structure, you'll see that everything is organized by Revit categories, such as doors, walls, floors, and if you open any categories like the walls, we'll see that they're further organized by types, wall types in this case. Finally, we'll be able to see the individual wall elements together with their quantities. In my model, I also had some OmniClass codes, that have been transferred for estimating. Some of the important Revit element properties also go into Sigma, which can be used for analysis, which I'll show later. To show how the live link lets you visually explore and understand the connections of the 3D, 5D models, I'll split my screen into two. In Sigma, I can click on a wall element and it will highlight in Revit to really let me understand what I'm estimating and how everything connects. If I click the wall's group heading, it will highlight all walls of this type. And if I click the wall's category, it will highlight all walls in the Revit model. The live link is a two-way integration, so if I select the roof in Revit, then Sigma will select the roof elements. Now we need to estimate the price. I will use the RS means data as the basis. The OmniClass codes will match with the same codes in RS means data, so I can simply use the update from library feature in Sigma. This function adds the assemblies to our 3D model information and maintains the organization and reuses the quantities. 
After updating, the walls now have the text from the price book and the unit cost has been updated. In no time, I've been able to do the bulk of my estimating and can now focus on the elements that are not in the 3D model but are important factors such as risk, labor rates, etc. In Revit, I can switch on the 5D dashboard to show key figures alongside the model. This gives us instant feedback on design choices. It is even possible to assign cost and other information from the 5D models to the 3D model which enhances the value of the 3D model for clients. Now let me show you how to connect the 3D model with the 5D price books. As you just saw, I had OmniClass codes in my 3D model, but you may use any type of code as your connection to the 3D model for estimating in very short time. I'll show you how. In Sigma, I have opened my RS Means Data Assembly Library. You could also have opened any other price books, including your own. In Revit, I'll use the 5D type coding feature. This will show you the price books directly within the model. Now simply select an element in Revit and then browse to the corresponding assembly of your choice in the price book. This way you assign the OmniClass code from the price book on the element and all similar elements in your 3D model. You can also select which quantity you want to use in your estimating model from the drop-downs. So the process is easy, we just need to assign the different element types in the model. You can hide elements that have been assigned, so ideally you will end up with a 3D model only showing the elements that you do not want in your estimate, like the furniture or other things that are often in the model but does not go into the estimate. It's actually a bit of fun to do this part. Now, having shown you how easy you can use the 3D model for estimating and building up your 5D model, I want to focus on the capabilities and features of a 5D model in Sigma. 5D, which is the how in BIM, is shaping the future of the construction industry. It can be very valuable to streamline design, cost, and scheduling in the pre-construction process and throughout the project life cycle. The key to understanding your 5D data is found in Sigma Insight. The Insight engine allows you to combine the powerful data from RS Means with the data and properties from the Revit 3D model and any data you manually entered. The Insight feature lets you slice and dice the project, resulting in different views of the data from both the 5D and 3D model. Let's look at some examples. In this Insight view, the assemblies are organized by location to better understand real pricing. You'll see the individual assemblies, or we can switch to this other view where you can see the types of cost for each level. We can also set up a view for work operations split in levels, which is interesting for the construction phase. This can be sent directly to Microsoft Project. This is also an example of using master format and uniformat classifications together. You may even use the insight to select in the 3D model. See how concrete works on level 2 can be highlighted in the model with one click. The insight views also show how much information the RS means data provide. It's not just pricing, but useful production information including activities and production rates and much more. The insight views are used for understanding your model, validating the data, finding errors, mitigating risk and much more. Insight view can help uncover issues at a very early stage in time to make required changes without costly or time-consuming consequences. Insight is also powerful for reporting needs, allowing you to transfer any data to Excel or PDF. Overall, this is a very solid platform for you to work smarter and faster with 5D BIM. I hope this gave you some ideas and showed you how this intuitive and easy to use software can really change the estimating process and provide much more valuable data for you and your team. Finally, let me add a comment on connecting data with other software and systems as well. The backbone of 5D BIM is to let project stakeholders visualize the progress of construction activities and its related costs over time to improve management and delivery of projects of any size or complexity. As such, you will need to keep building your workflows and the software you rely on. Using the open API in Sigma and Sigma apps, this will become much easier. Built-in integrations such as seamless Excel import-export and smooth integrations with Microsoft Project and Microsoft Word are already available in Sigma. You may also import IFC models directly in Sigma.
The Open API allows for you or others to write Sigma apps that may connect to web services or other software. It lets you create custom functions in Sigma, such as special data validation or data manipulation. This allows for real reuse of your BIM data, so you don't need to start over all the time, and mitigates any manual errors in the workflow. The latest example of Sigma app is the integration with BIM 360, allowing you to import 3D models directly from the cloud. If you haven't already, please download the software to access the platform and try it for yourself.